planning your first trip to Africa. Maybe you've been before, but you're going to a complete different area with a different outfit. One thing that people tend to do because they want to be cautious and prepared is they bring too much luggage. We often arrive at the airport with a truck and a trailer to transport all this luggage back to camp or to wherever we're going. And more than half of that luggage never gets used. I understand people pack it for in case. Let me assure you that if you book a trip like that with a reputable outfit, whatever you need, they will have in camp ready to supply you. Extra binoculars, knives, whatever you need, your outfit is supposed to supply it to make your life more comfortable. In the end, you are booking through a reputable outfit because they are prepared. In the military, we had a very good saying, proper prior planning prevents poor performance. Now that does not only go for you as the client, it goes for the outfit as well. And getting back to the luggage that people pack and transport, especially if you're on a hunting safari and you've got rifles or bows, that's a lot of extra luggage, it's a lot of extra weight. It's just one more thing that can go wrong. Clothes-wise, most places is supposed to do your laundry daily. If things go wrong, then it might only get done every second day. And even though, then you don't need to bring that much clothes. In Africa, during the hunting season, it's cold. It might warm up a little, but we do not have four seasons in one day like you do get in America and Europe and that. A few places along the Eastern Cape, maybe. But again, the company will be prepared if they are any good. Shoes-wise, we've spoken about the boots that is a requirement, the type of boots. In a previous video, we mentioned that. You don't need to bring a whole lot of shoes. A pair of good quality hunting boots and then something leisure wise for around camp. Even if you do extend your safari to include ecotourism, visit some game parks or the coastline or something, you don't need to bring all these different clothes with. Try and keep your luggage small, manageable. You don't need to bring all the technological equipment that people are so fond of today. Even things like binoculars. We can supply that. You can bring your favorite camera. You can bring a handheld GPS if you would like to. But all these other things are just excess baggage. So guys, Think carefully before you start packing. Get in contact with your outfitter, your professional hunter, and draw down a list. What do they supply? What can they supply? And what do you really need to bring with? There's not many mishaps that happen. You, we all hear the horror stories. Let me guarantee you they are very, very few and far between. And even then, you can cope. I was in a camp in Zimbabwe once where the propane gas bottles exploded. We were not in camp, we were out in the bush, we were hunting elephant. And the fly camp that we used got flattened. When we got back to camp, I mean it looked like a bomb, went, it, literally a bomb went off in there. 
our pantry got blown to bits and that was a troublesome time. Well, the two clients that we had in camp thought it was great. Obviously, they were shocked. Some of their clothes got blown to pieces. A lot of our equipment got blown up. All because one of the wood gatherers started playing with a propane gas bottle. Needless to say, the safari didn't stop. We continued. We were hunting elephants. And the clients loved it in the end because they were living off the land. We just scaled down on a lot of stuff. A long story short, when we dropped them off at the airport, both of them had the biggest smile on their faces and they said, we were not prepared for what happened. But we had the best hunting safari ever. And it had nothing to do with the elephant. It had to do with the adventure. And that is what counts. People remember, hunt responsibly and hunt ethically. Thank you.